Keep all four eyes peeled, little sister. There's some creepy goings on in this neighborhood. That's precisely why I'm here. I'm beginning to think that Glint was wrong about the origins of the Headless Ones. The Elixni tell tales of Faison, captain of House Dusk, who fought valiantly against both Cabal and Lightbearer in this very cave. Victory was near, until they were betrayed and transformed into Taken. That ain't how I remember it. Do you think it might be possible that the Headless Ones are actually some form of Taken? I doubt it. Taken ain't got no fashion sense. But these headless fellas got style. It takes confidence to pull off purple flames. Thanks for your protection, Guardian. I'm following up on Glint's research into the headless ones. He thinks the Hive created them. But I have my doubts. Elixni legends say that after the Guardian defeated Faison of House Dusk, the Captain was abducted and returned as Taken. That's a hell of a tale, but it don't make one mode of sense. I got a whole ship full of Taken, all shapes and sizes. Not a single one of them has a flaming pumpkin noggin. I interviewed several of Empress Keitel's retainers in the tower. They believe the Headless Ones are Red Legionnaires, trapped by an eternal curse. That don't make a lick of sense. If the Cabal turned immortal just by getting their butts kicked, they'd be as old as me by now. Cabal legends also tell of the Headless Ones. Their tales say the monsters are cursed by the shame of defeat. You gotta hand it to the Cabal. They got one-track minds. Everything comes back to honor, victory, and the size of their tusks. I can definitely conclude that the Headless Ones are neither Elixni nor Cabal. I'm beginning to suspect that they're human in origin. Hell, that wouldn't surprise me. Humans love making things with giant, creepy heads. Just look at Clovis Bray. Matter of fact, wearing new faces used to be a big part of this ancient human ritual. The Hall Between! reports of the Headless Ones are true. Not that I doubted him, but he and Crow do have a flair for the dramatic. However, this mission has created more questions than answers. How did these monsters end up on Earth? Why do they only appear at a certain time of year? And what does it have to do with the ancient human ritual known as the Hall Between? <laughs> <laughs> 